Hello everybody, welcome to the short tutorial video on how to corrupt or degrade an image with a Gaussian noise. This is the image degradation equation, where G is the degraded image or an image with a noise, F is the original image and N is the noise. Here is the example of image degradation. We have an original image F, which is looks nice and clean, and the image here is the noise. Basically, Noise is just an image where the pixel value is a random number. When the random number follow the Gaussian distribution, then the noise is called as a Gaussian noise. So, we can easily create a Gaussian noise using the Gaussian formula. In Python, we can use the NumPy built-in function random.normal to generate a random number using the Gaussian formula. Here, the input are the mean value, the sigma or the standard deviation, and the size. If we plot the histogram of this noise, we will get a distribution shape looks like this, which is the Gaussian distribution. That is the basic theory of Gaussian noise. Let us now move to Jupyter Lab and create the noise and add the noise to an image. All right, here I am in the Spider IDE. First, let us import the libraries. Here I'm using four libraries. The first one is the OpenCV. I'm using the OpenCV to open the image as well as display the image. Next here, the second library is the NumPy. We will use this NumPy to create our noise image. And here the third library is the from SciPy. I will use this library to create the histogram of our noise. And last is the matplotlib.pyplot and use this to plot the histogram. Okay, let us import our image as an f and then we normalize the image by dividing with the maximum number in a grayscale image okay let's run this one so here our image has a value from 0 up to 255 because we read it as a grayscale image and then after we normalize the image will has value from 0 to 1 let us display our uh, original image using cv 2 all right, so this is our input image. Okay, let us next create our Gaussian noise. First, we take the X and Y, which is the total number of column as well as row from our image. And then here I set the mean value as a zero and then the variance is 0 0.01. And from variance, we simply can calculate the standard deviation or sigma by taking the square root of the variance and then using numpy.random.normal we create our Gaussian noise okay let's run this code all right this variable n here is our Gaussian noise and let's we plot this n using the cv 2im show all right so this is our noise all right let us create the histogram of our Gaussian noise All right, let me explain briefly about this uh, line of code. The first one here, we calculate the frequency of the number or the random number from our Gaussian noise. Next, here, the distance underscore space, we create the x value for the plot, which is basically the number from the minimum number of our noise and to the maximum number from our noise. And then using the PLT plot, we plot this uh, histogram and then add a label to the image. Okay, next we add a Gaussian noise to our image simply by adding the original image with our noise n. Okay, now let us plot the corrupted image or the degraded image using the cv 2 I'm sure. Alright, so this is the image after we add a Gaussian noise to the image okay and we can display all the image by calling a multiple line of cv2 I'm sure okay let me run this code here all right so this is the final result here we have the original image and here we have the Gaussian noise we add this Gaussian noise to the original image that's all from this video 
uh, if you want to copy this pattern code I put this pattern code on my github you can visit the link on the description thank you for watching and see you on the next video